Okay, so before we start our discussion uh, with the module four, uh, anyone who has a question or clarification so far regarding with their exam? Wala naman po, sir. Okay, because most of you uh, did a good job. Well, uh, there is one, okay, who got a perfect score, 100 out of 100. Okay, and then uh, the others got 98, uh, 92, 95, 90, 88, 80. Okay, so there were only two uh, who wasn't able to uh, get a passing score, but most of you were able to get uh, 70, 80. So you guys uh, did a good job. So to the uh, others uh, who got a lower than 60, so um, just uh, say study more, okay? Just, uh, just, you just need maybe uh, more time to uh, understand things. So if ever that uh, there are parts that you cannot understand, so just ask me anytime, okay? So I'm willing to help you if you have a question or clarifications. Uh, okay, regarding with that, Mr. Jean Alexis Soriano, uh, I'm afraid I cannot post all of the uh, answers. Well, you can ask maybe uh, the parts where you got it wrong, okay, but I cannot post the answers due to, uh, you know, there are still others where there, there, there's actually only two uh, who wasn't able to take uh, their midterm exam. So, hindi, hindi, hindi safe kasi magkakaroon tayo ng leakage, okay? So, mapaperfect na nila kapag pinos ko and then hindi uh, pa sila nakapagtigin ng midterm exam. So, yeah. Yung iba, hindi ko alam kung anong balak nila. May mga activities naman sila pero hindi sila nag midterm exam. Wala din namang message sa akin kung magtitake pa ba ng midterm exam. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, any other concerns so far before we start? Okay, so I guess none anymore. All right, so there, uh, since uh, there's only a few of you guys, so may I request everybody to uh, open their uh, camera if it's okay? I think it would be better and faster kapag nakikita ko yung mukha niya and your reaction at the same time while I'm explaining. So that uh, just in case that uh, you know, uh, no one is speaking. I know that, you know, uh, alam ko yung facial reaction nyo. Alam ko kung, kung nakuha nyo ba okay, or kung hindi nyo ba nakuha. Wala pong camera, sir. What about the others? Kahit yung ibang ko na lang. Para, mas nakakailang kasi. Yan. Nakakailang kasi yung pagsalita. Tapos, ah, uh, Hindi ko alam kung nandyan ba talaga kayo or wala. Okay. Iba kasi, nagjo-join lang and then wala na. Wala nang sumasagot. Okay. So, thank you Mr. Eisel and Mr. Gene uh, Alexis for opening your camera. So, to the others, I encourage uh, you guys to open your camera also. So, don't be shy. Okay. Para para saman tayong gwapo at magaganda dito eh. Okay, so don't, you guys don't have a question anymore? So, ang konti natin na. Ito, anim lang kayo. What, what happened to the others? Anyway. Exams kasi ng electro, sir. Ang logic circuit. Ano yun? Tapos po na exam namin ng logic circuit. Oh, really? Di ba dapat? Yes, sir. Hang nung Wednesday... Yeah. Kaya nga po sir, medyo na-late yung exam namin ng lap. Uh, I see, kaya pala. Mm. Okay, okay. So, parang uh, over, hindi naman over time. Parang kung kayo, na-resked na yung exam nyo. I see. Okay then. So, let's start. So, uh, this one is a 63 slides of uh, presentation. Though, uh, mabilis lang to since uh, sobrang dalali lang naman ng mga uh, topics when it comes to clippers. Okay, so let's start by uh, asking a question like, what is a clipper? So, I think very obvious naman. Okay, so it is a device which limits or remove or prevents some portion of the waveform 
uh, from the input signal voltage above or below a certain level. Okay, so kung yung half wave natin is half wave lang tinatanggap, in here, we can have a full wave but a clip uh, format. So may na, parang na-chip siya, parang natapyasan, parang ganun. So in other words, the circuit which limits positive or negative amplitude or both is called chipping circuit. We call that one a clipper. So we have five types of clippers. We have the series positive clipper. And then, of course, if we have positive, we also have negative. So we have series negative clipper. And then if we have series, we also have parallel. So uh, this parallel can be also called shunt. Okay, so those two are just the same. So we could say shunt clipper or a parallel clipper. So uh, we have shunt or parallel clipper. And then, of course, we have two types of a shunt parallel clipper, which is the shunt or parallel positive uh, and then negative clipper. So, uh, ito parang may mali dito. Ngayon ko lang na-realize. It should be shunt positive parallel clipper. And then the other one is uh, shunt uh, negative parallel clipper. Dapat parang ganun. Well, anyway, so it's positive and negative shunt. And then the last one is, of course, the uh, combination. Okay? Or the clipper dual. But uh, mostly we call this one combination uh, dial clipper. So, uh, bahala na kayo. Pwede rin clipper dual or combination dial clipper. So, either of those two. All right, so without further ado, let's start with series positive clipper. Okay, so without reading the uh, definition, ganito na lang. Series positive clipper, nandito na kasing sagot eh. So positive clipper, it means it clips the positive side. Yun na kagad din yung key point nyo. So positive clipper, it clips the positive side. So in here, uh, we have the voltage input as you guys can see right here. And then the positive side was clipped. Are we clear with that one? So, para din siya so, a half wave rectifier, pero ang term lang natin dito is series positive clipper. Okay, it, just, it, it, it clips the positive side. So, I won't be reading the uh, description anymore, but yeah, ganun siya uh, uh, kung gano'n kadali explain. Though, medyo mahaba hanggang dito, meron pa siyang continuation. Pero, same lang that it clips the positive side. Okay, so I will leave the reading part to you guys. Uh, para mas matapos natin kagad yung module. Okay? So, are we clear with the uh, series positive clipper? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So, uh, again, uh, these clippers uh, can prevent either, okay, or both. Pwedeng dalawa. Okay, kapag dalawa na, of course, it's now a clipper dual or combination. But since we're talking only uh, the series positive clipper, so in here, it's only showing the uh, positive side where in, uh, it's clipped. Okay, or yun yung natanggal. Okay, so uh, here are the things that you need to know when it comes to, uh, you know, computing the output voltage or the VO, okay, during the positive and negative half cycle. So in here, during the positive half cycle, the output voltage VO is equal to zero volts. Why is that? So uh, later on, uh, you will know uh, why it's a zero volts. So on the uh, negative half cycle or the reverse bias, okay, Output voltage or the VO is equal to VI plus VD volts. Okay. Wherein, uh, alam niyo na to, of course, VD is the dry, uh, diode uh, threshold voltage and then VI is the uh, voltage input. Okay. So let's have an example uh, for you guys to uh, appreciate why is it uh, zero and then why is it VI plus VD. So during the positive half cycle, so if you guys are going to take a look on this one, so positive is connected to the negative and the negative is connected to the positive. So as a result, uh, reverse bias. Okay, so if it's reverse bias, so there is no flow of current in our R1 or in our VO itself. So that is why we have zero volts. Okay, so same na same lang siya sa uh, half wave rectifier natin. Okay, so are we clear with this one? Yes, sir. Okay, so ito parang nagre-recall lang kayo kasi uh, alam na alam nyo na to. Okay, and then during the negative half cycle, so we have negative is connected to the negative and then positive is connected to the positive. So as a result, we have here reading of VI plus VD. So uh, kung titignan nyo dito, parang pinagsama uh, natin. Pero since we're talking about negative half cycle, so we have a negative 5 volts. And then uh, this one will be added. But since this one is ideal, so 0 volts pa yung uh, voltage threshold natin. Okay, so that is why it's negative 5 plus 0 where we have negative 5 volts reading in this voltage output. 
Okay. And as a result, so we have a clip uh, positive side, and then we have an output on the negative side. So are we clear with example number one? So just give me a thumbs up. So you can uh, give me a virtual thumbs up or yung mga naka-open yung camera. So pwedeng yung mismong thumb nyo na. Okay? Just to let me know that everything is clear. Okay. So that is why we have zero and negative five volts in there. Okay. So let's have another example. We're in, we now have a non-ideal. Okay. So uh, babaguhin nyo lang doon is lagyan nyo lang ng value yung VD natin. So the same pa rin. So positive is connected to negative and then negative is connected to the positive. So as a result, VO is equal to zero volts. So kahit na uh, non-ideal to or silicon diet na to, yun pa rin. Reverse bias pa rin tayo. So wala pa rin. Magiging open circuit pa rin tong uh, silicon diet na to. So it's still uh, zero volts. Okay? But in here, so uh, yun na, instead of you know having a zero volts in here, so just put a value of that a diode, so it's silicon diode, so it's 0 0.7. So negative 5 plus 0 0.7 is equal to negative 4.3 volts. So that's now the uh, voltage output, okay, that will pass through this uh, circuit. Okay. So are we clear with example number two? So dali lang, di ba? So nakaka-follow lahat. Sir. So if, yes, sir. Okay, so if ever that you have a question, so uh, wag na kayo ang hand, uh, just speak right away, okay? Para mabilis tayo. Anyway, so the, uh, that's it with a uh, series positive cleaver uh, without bias. But in here, let's now talk about with bias. So kapag sinabi natin bias, it's like, you know, there's just an additional voltage, okay, in our circuit. So before, uh, we only have the voltage input, the diode and then the uh let's see load the resistance or the resistance but in here we now have an additional one which is the bias voltage so in here we call this one vb okay so vb for the uh, threshold voltage okay, of the diode and then vb for the bias voltage or the additional voltage of the circuit okay so sometimes it is uh it is desired to remove a small portion of the positive half cycle of the signal voltage input signal so, uh, kung gusto mong uh, konti lang yung ibawas mo sa positive or negative, so you must have a, a you know, a, a bias voltage in here. So, depending kung anong kailangan mo, it could be a uh, positive bias okay, or a negative bias. So, depending sa polarity ng bias voltage niya. So, in here, if we wanted to, let's say, uh, chip okay, on the positive side only, so we should have a polarity of positive to negative bias. So, ito yung para magiging uh, waveform natin. So, meron pa rin tayong voltage sa positive side. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's say nabawasan or nakalahati or uh, konti na rin natira. Pero meron pa rin. Okay. And then, kapag uh, sa negative bias naman, so, uh, ito depende to. Pwedeng uh, nabawasan or nadagdagan. Okay, so you will see later on. So, this one is not the exact uh, waveform uh, of this one because this one, depends on the value of our bias voltage and then uh, our uh, voltage input, okay? So uh, in here, we have a positive half cycle and then the negative half cycle. So ito yung parang uh, formula na kailangan yung i-memorize. Though, uh, you know, we, even though we, we don't uh, have this formula, kahit i-analyze nyo lang to, kaya-kaya nyo nang uh, sagutan kagad to. So uh, wag na kayo mag-rely sa uh, binibigay na formula kasi nakadepende ito lagi sa a voltage input and then sa uh, bias voltage natin. Okay. So, uh, and here, if we have a positive half cycle, so positive is connected to the negative and the negative is connected to the positive. So, as a result, VO is equal to VB minus VD. Okay. Kasi, yung positive, ito tong uh, positive to negative and the negative to positive. So, in here, uh, this will uh, make this one as a reverse bias. So as a result, parang uh, open circuit na siya dito. So yung uh, voltage na dadali na lang dito sa voltage output natin is the uh, bias voltage itself and then the uh, diode uh, voltage. Okay. Though, uh, depende pa rin yun kung ano yung mas malaki. Okay. Or depende kung mas malaki to 
kaysa sa uh, threshold voltage natin dito. So later on, uh, we'll have a lot of exa uh, examples regarding with this kung uh, ano yung mga scenarios na pwede mangyari. Okay? And then for negative half cycle, so of course, it's negative to negative and then positive to positive. So uh, we're going to consider the VI, okay? And then the VB and then the BB kasi dadaanan niya na yung buong circuit. Okay? Kasi magiging closed circuit na mismo to. All right. So, yeah, that's it for the series positive paper with positive bias. So, let's have an example regarding with this one. So, let's start with ideal. Okay? So, during positive half cycle, uh, ito yung nangyari. So, positive is connected to the negative, and then negative is connected to the positive. So, para siguro mas uh, clear. Oops. Light, light na yan. All right, so just wait a second. All right, so let's analyze this one. So in here, we have two scenarios. So again, uh, whichever is the higher voltage, that is the one that will dominate the entire uh, circuit or the uh, entire flow of current, right? So in here, pwedeng yung V1, so pwede tayo magkaroon ng flow of current na ganito or flow of current na ganito. So, depende kung ano yung mas kalaki. And uh, as you guys can see right here, our voltage input is greater than our uh, second voltage right here or the bias voltage. Okay? So, ang magiging flow of current natin will be this one, not this one. Tama? So, yun muna, yung flow of current muna. So, as a result, I will remove this one now since this is the correct flow of current. And during the positive half cycle, so during the positive half cycle, so what we have here, we have positive connected to negative and then negative connected to the positive. So as a result, this will become a uh, reverse bias. So if it's reverse bias, so this will become an open circuit, right? If it's an open circuit, so, ang um, para magiging uh, basis na lang natin is this one. Okay? So, this is now the only one that can flow uh, to our VO. Okay? So, ito, parang dadaloy na siya dito since naging, uh, ito nga, uh, naging open circuit siya dahil, uh, dahil dito sa V1 natin. Okay? So, hindi na siya nabalewala. Ang role pa rin na ito, uh, nandiyan siya, ginawa niya lang open circuit yung uh, mismong uh, diode natin. Okay? So, uh, this VB now will go here or will go here. So since this one is open circuit, so all of our VB will go now to our uh, VO. Okay, this uh, VO, uh, say, path right here. So ito yung magiging reading ng voltage output natin. So in here, VO is equal to positive 2 volts. Hmm? Tama. So let's see if it's the same. So yeah, it's two volts. And uh, ito kasi parang sinabi lang na zero since parang wala ng uh, voltage dito. So uh, wala naman talaga kasi ideal nga to. Okay. And then hindi rin siya maapektuhan since open circuit nga to. So parang nawala na rin yung idea natin. So you could just say uh, VO is equal to VB. Okay. So uh, that is why don't stick with this, you know, uh, formula VO is equal to VB minus VD since uh, ano to, parang nakadepende lagi sa circuit, no? Okay? So pwedeng VB minus VD or sometimes VB only. Okay? So uh, i-analyze nyo nalang yung buong circuit. So in here, we've got uh, a result of 2 volts. So let's answer the uh, negative half cycle. So during the negative half cycle, so this will become a negative and then a positive. And ito, ano pa to kanina? Negative and then positive. So i-drawing ko na lang. So in here, we now have negative is connected to the negative and then positive is connected to the positive. Tama? So as a result, this will become an, a closed circuit okay, or a closed path. 
So, ito, pwede yung tanggalin ko na lang and then replace this one by oops, by a line. So, in here, uh, dalawa na yung uh, deciding factor natin when it comes to uh, voltage output. So, uh, ito is the dari dito. And then, of course, since uh, there must be only one voltage uh, that will, you know, uh, dictate the flow of uh, current. So, of course, uh, pupunta dito yung uh, voltage input natin. So, some will go here, maybe. And then, some will go here. Okay. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, it has a resistor in here and then there's another voltage in here. So, uh, pag babalikan natin yung rules ng electrical circuit, so yung sabi natin, dadaloy lagi siya sa kung saan yung lesser yung resistance and then lesser yung voltage drop. Tama? But in reality, uh, that doesn't apply. Pero uh, ganun yung parang pag-identify natin when it comes to uh, this kind of circuit. So, that is why our VI will flow in this VO instead of uh, this VB right here. So, hindi siya makahate, but instead, it will flow entirely on this VO. So, as a result, our VO, oops, ah, I see. My bad, my bad. O nga pala. Since same pala sila ng uh, current, yun nga rin pala. Same pala sila ng uh, flow of current. So, we have positive. Balik tayo dito kasi naka-negative yun. Oops. Negative. Ah, may bad. It's negative. Okay. It's negative 5. And then this one, at the same time, has a... Wait a second. Ah, okay. 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 So in here, since we only have one flow of current, okay, so hindi pwedeng mag-contradicting sila, tama, di ba? So kapag kasi itong VB na to, pag ganun na, and then itong VI natin pag ganun. So there is now a collision in here. Okay? So dapat isa lang. So ito will flow the same uh, in here. But let me just check. Bakit? Plus negative. VI is negative 5. And then plus 0 since this is ideal. And then plus negative 2 is equal to negative 7. Hmm. And we have negative right here at this point. Because the reading of VO is this part. Pero kapag magsasummation na tayo ng voltage output, which is equal to negative 7, is nandito na siya. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, sige. Balikan natin ito mamaya. Okay. Since uh, kahit ako, uh, naguluhan ako when it comes to the flow of current itself. But in here, analyze nga natin. Because in here, if we have negative and then positive, so this will become a closed path. And then at this point, we now have negative 5. And if we are going to add them together, dito na sa part na to, wherein we have negative 2, if we have that flow of current. But if we have this flow of current, magiging positive 2 na to, wherein the reading of VO is negative 3, not negative 7. Are we correct? Am I correct with my uh, analysis? Kung ganun na. But the answer in this uh, PDF of mine is negative 7. Hmm. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, okay. So, ngayon ko lang naintindihan. Alright. So, balikan natin. So, I think tama yun. Uh, and I exage ko lang yung reading ng VO dito. So, when it comes to uh, VO, so it's the reading from this point to this point. Tama? So parang dito yung probe natin, say yung positive, and then ito yung probe natin, let's say negative. Okay? And then at this point, meron tayong flow of current na negative 5. Okay? And then if you are going to read this one, this is actually negative 2. Tama? Tama ba? 
kasi ganito yung uh, pagbasa natin. So, uh, again, uh, in my case, I always go for the outer uh, sign. So, we have negative 5 and then negative 2. Ito rin yung sign na kinoconsider ko. So, what guys? Anong, anong, anong say nyo doon? So, do you agree with my analysis? So, this is negative 5 and then this is negative 2. And then we have this flow of current. So, as a result, negative 5 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 7. So, at this point, negative 5 pa lang siya. And then at this point, nagsama na sila which is now negative 7. So, as a result, in this VO right here, is now equal to negative 7 itself. Uh, Mr. Jean, Alexis, Sir Isel. Sir. For Mr. Carlo, Mr. Uh, Mark, Angelo, Mr. Marabio. Kinaka pa, Sir Fred lang po. Mr. Nathaniel, Mr. Mark Deason. So before, we only have a one line. Okay, ito na lang yung pinagkaiba. So parang wala to, and then yung reading lang ng BO natin is at this point, before. But our reading of BO now is the entire, uh, or the uh, this across of this uh, path right here. So itong part na to, and then itong part din na to. So everything that will flow here, okay, is now considered as our BO. So that is why, if you guys are going to take a look on this one, parang lahat kinoconsider niya. Okay, it's not, it's not just the VI, nakapagpatak dito, uh, negative 5 lang siya. Hindi. So, dapat kasama rin tong dalawa. Kasi hanggang dito, and hanggang dito yung reading ng VO natin. Okay? So, it's like, you know, putting your probe, kung gagamit man kayo ng, uh, ang tag dito, VOM. Okay? So, your positive, uh, let's say, probe will be here, and then your negative probe will be here. And then the voltage across this one, kasama of course in voltage input, will be negative 7. So are we clear now on why do we have a VO of equals to negative 7? So, if you're going to write this one, we have VI plus VD, which it will pass through this uh, uh, diode, and then we have the VB itself, okay? And then VI is negative 5, and then VD is uh, 0, since ideal nga siya, and then VB is negative 2. And as a result, VO is equal to negative 7. Kasi yung ginagawa ko pala kanina. So, uh, mali ko yun. May bad. Uh, it's only reading, uh, let's say, uh, the VO at this point only. At this node only. Wherein, uh, when it comes to VO, it should be this one up to this one. Okay, the entire uh, path itself. Hindi lang yung iisang node. Okay? So, that is why uh, this one is close. Okay? Kasi ito yung reading ng VO natin from here to here. Anyway, so we'll have more examples uh, regarding with this one. So uh, that's it for the uh, series positive creeper with positive bias. So let's move on to the example number four. We have series positive creeper with positive uh, bias, but this time uh, it's non-ideal. Okay. So uh, here, let's analyze this one. So positive is connected to the negative, and then negative is connected to the positive. So as a result, this will become a reverse bias or an open circuit. So ngayon, uh, ito parang wala na since hindi na nga siya makapa, makadaloy dito sa diode natin since naging uh, open circuit na siya. But in here, we can now consider this one as a uh, another voltage uh, source since uh, mer meron na nga siyang uh, voltage uh, threshold which is uh, 0 0.7. So you can just simply change Second. 
Okay, so this silicon diet is reverse bias, or you can just simply change that one into a uh, voltage itself, which is 0 0.7. Okay, since uh, non-ideal na nga to. And then at the same time, if you guys are going to take a look on this one, if we are going to consider this uh, flow of current right here, okay, or yan. So we have here uh, positive 2 or negative 2 rather. And then we have here uh, positive 0 0.7. Mm -hmm. So uh, vice versa, pwedeng uh, positive 2 to and then negative 0 0.7 to. Okay. But in here, so uh, dapat kino-consider natin yung mas malaking voltage uh, input. Okay, or yung voltage uh, source natin. So in here, we have this flow of current. Okay, so as a result, we have positive 0 0.7 and then negative 2. So that's the reading of our uh, VO. So VO is equal to 1 point, negative 1.3. Oops. Oh, bakit na naman uh, positive 1.3 to? Okay, let me just check. So, positive to negative will become an open circuit. So, if we're going to consider this one, This will become a forward bias. But this will become now like nothing. Since magiging ang flow of current na natin is from positive to negative. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just check the uh, negative half cycle. Negative to negative, positive to positive, and then we have five to zero point seven, and then negative two. Tama, negative six point eight. But here we're going to consider this one. All right, so I think ang uh, inasum ko, okay, is this kind of uh, flow of current. Okay, we're in, uh, initially, we have VI, okay, and then this one make this one as a reverse bias. So, para ang nangyari is nawala na to. Okay, and then this one now is replaced by a 0 0.7 voltage. And since we have this reading, so negative 0 0.7 to, since yung outer nga yung consider natin, uh, since this one is negative. And then this one is positive 2. And 2 minus 0 0.7 is equal to negative 1.3. And then it will pass through this one, which is now weird since we have a voltage input in here. And dapat, dadari din siya dito. Which will become plus negative 5. Which is equal to negative 6.3 for the positive half cycle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so uh, I will just check this one since uh, hindi ako sure, okay, kung bakit uh, negative 1.3, okay? Kung, yeah, kung bakit negative 1.3 yung sagot ko pala and yung sagot dito is a uh, positive 1.3, okay? Well, anyway, so uh, this will be my assignment, example number four. And for the uh, negative up cycle, so this one is correct, okay? And since this one is negative to negative and then positive to positive, so as you guys can see right here, this one will form a forward bias, okay? And kapag close circuit, so meron tayong flow of current. Sir, time po. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Time, sir. Magkakant yung... Yeah. So, uh, see you na lang on the part 2 since we don't have enough time anymore. So, thank you for that.
So, goodbye and see you guys later. Bye, sir. Bye.